Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. So today we're at our friend's place, Mr. Joe. Show Mr. Joe. Thank you for the new place. You're welcome. Very My nice. place isn't done yet, so we have to do this elsewhere, like always. But today we're going to do big pieces of meat. I want to get some of that off. It's good. Oh. What are y'all doing over there? We have people. Show the people over there. Show those people. They're strange. Hello, yeah. strange. Yeah, we're strange. Yeah. So, what are we doing today? What are we doing? We're gonna do ribeyes, and what do we have? We've already prepped up. Yummy. The fat potatoes. Yes. Can you smell, people? Oh yeah, it smells good. There's an evil dog down there, and we have the nice green peppercorn. Perfect. Smell of peppercorns. All right. So, how do we do this? You want to prepare. You always want to have. Dear dog. Oh my god. You want to have two inch to two plus inch meat always. If you do small, no, 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 no. Nah, 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 nah. Not good. So we want to season it up. All we got to do because we don't need a lot of oil. Just want to get some. I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> that dog is out of control. It's all right. We're gonna roll over some of that. Are you rubbing your meat? Tell me that. We are rubbing the meat, and we want it. This is big. This is big piece of steak. So we're gonna season it heavy, guys. Don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. As Mano says, don't be nasty. Says, don't be nasty. You gotta put the salt on that meat, okay? All right. Now, get some fresh fried pepper. That's Sorry, it's in the way. It's in the way of greatness. I apologize. Craft is better than fresh. Turn it over. Cracked is better than fresh. Cracked is better than and then crack it. Cracked is better than like ground already. That's all. Hold on. Wash my hands. Really quick. Give me that. Give me that. All right. Hi. Stay away. And again. Come on. Come on, boo. Now the nice thing about this and the way to do it is to always do in a black iron skillet at 500 degrees, which is in the oven. Over there. Salt. Don't feel bad about adding too much salt to this because it is important. Because it's so big, we're only gonna do a little bit. All right, so here we go. Let's go get that big pot. Get in the oven for like an hour, 500 degrees. Very hot. If you're not touching, it will die. You're too dangerous. One, two, three, over here. And then put it here. And then, front, one high. We're good. Take from the oven off. Oh, good. So, here's a nice thing. You don't have to do anything with these things. You just want to toss them on, and you want this sizzle. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, talk to me. Clean up as we go. All right, so here's a nice thing. Ben Hood. Turn on the Ben Hood. You gotta hit the power button. Power! One. There we are. There we go. So, this is different than rice. You actually got a hit them. The thing with these steaks, I'm telling you, you got to do them right. Oh, 
Uh-huh. You're not going to cook them forever. Don't touch the pan or you'll die. It is hot. Very hot. But these are just... Ah! I am better now. Look how big those are. Aren't those big? Those are huge. You want two plus inches. Two and a half. Otherwise you get overdone meat. You don't even have to oil them. Watch. No, wait. Ow! Oh, by the way. Vincent, Vincent Latour, Bubba, great Marceau as always. Fabulous. Emily Bertho, big song. Very nice. Good stuff. Who doesn't love Ponzo? Love Ponzo. What did you do? Oh, Ponzo. What are you saying today? Thank you, Earl, for that, by the way. June, Kaplan. All right. So you don't need a lot of time. You need about five minutes. Now, these are huge. So what we're going to do, we're going to get ready to flip them. So these are important. Oh, yeah. So they're going to sit when they're done. Okay. Like well, that was a good cooking one. Yes, I thought so. We're going to put a little bit of stuff in there. Got, a hat. Got Mr. James watching. Mr. Say, James. say hi. Hello, sir. Hope you're doing good, sir. Clean as you go. Because I made a mess. A little bit of oregano, a little bit of thyme. Check it out. Because these are so thick, it's okay to cook them for a while. So on high, the pan's 500 degrees. Rare on a filet is good. Rare on a filet is very good. On a ribeye, medium rare is a bit better. We're going to let it go. I'm not going to do much. Look at all the fat coming off of it. It's so nice. Look at that. That is fabulous. Look at that. Oh, look at that fat coming off. Come on. Yes. So nice. We could flip it for fun just to see. Let's take a look and see. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, that's what we want. What daddy wants. Come here. Come on. Come to me. Oh, yes. Come on, look at that. No, not you, Jim. Oh, get off. Look at that. Oh, that is fabulous. Good off. Good off. Now, because it's, it needs to go for a bit longer, I'm not going to add any butter yet, but I've got butter right over here. Butter right there. Need a moment. A cooking moment. Always drink good wine while you're cooking. Oh, the Dew Jack is fabulous, brother. Let's, see, let's take a photo of the Dew Jack. Our lovely host brought out some Dew Jack. Oh, oh, we love it. Now, when this is done, when it'll eventually be done, you're going to pull it off and put it on a platter that I got to look for a nice wooden platter that captures the juice. For like 10 minutes. Say hi to Miss Annette. Ah, what do we got? Miss Annette. We have this. We should put it here. And we have this. Onions. Shallots. One, two, and three. Sorry, I got in the way. Good 
Because this bubby's so big, it, it needs some time. It's going to need time no matter what. And it should be, it actually should be a medium rare on a nice good ribeye. And I got these out of cent I got these from Central Market today. These two were 100 bucks, about two and a quarter, two and a half inches. They're big. And uh, I didn't go to um, Pete's Meat today, which I love to go to. I was just, I was in the area, so I went there. Got these. Hopefully this feeds eight people. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on. Oh yeah. Oh, well, right on top of the duck fat potatoes. We're gonna sear it over the top with some lovely green peppercorn gravy. Yum. Steak full of Look at all that fat rendering off. That is so nice. That is not for me. I won the olive oil. That's just the steak rendering. It's so good. Because it's so big, it's gonna need some time. So we'll do this. We're gonna get some big spoons of butter. One, two, three, woo, four, a little more because we're nasty that way. Yeah. Very good. What we're going to do is put some fresh oregano and thyme in there. And then we're going to do oregano and oregano, some little more oregano. Not too much, but it'll taste nasty. You'll have a steak with oregano. Oh, that's, look at that. Oh, look at that fat render out. Look at the butter. Oh, oh, oh. Give me a spoon. I'll get a spoon. Don't you worry, sir. Oh, that's what you want in a beautiful ribeye. A beautiful steak. Look at that. There you go. That's it. That speaks volumes for what you got. You got no big. There we go. Miss Plus. Sue Chef did very well. Thank you, sir. Now with one of the little, a little bit of little, a little bit of little. We generally put garlic all over this, but I've got it already in the pan over there, so we're good. There we are, look at that. Face that, lovely. Basting is great. Feels nice and rare. Turning down the tab. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright. That's how it should look. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull it off and put it on the platter and let it sit for 10 minutes. Alright. 10 minutes. Five, 10 minutes. We're good. So we'll slice it nicely. We'll come back in a little bit. We'll show you how it looks. Happy eating. Wait, don't delete anything because I gotta do. Are you sure you want to?